So my next demonstration is going to be the correct way to restrain for a jugular vein. Um, so obviously the person is going to be drawing from the jugular. Um, the most important part of this is both to protect yourself and the person who is um, drawing the blood. Um, obviously the claws, if the cat is not declawed, are going to be um, you know, a risk factor. Um, so I'm always cautious to make sure I put some of my weight on the cat so that he knows that he can't back up um, or use his front paws to kind of swat the person. Um, also important to make sure that your fingers are never near his mouth because um, he will bite. This is not a normal position that they want to be in. Um, so basically what you'll do, like I said, is put some of your weight on the back of the cat um, and then you want to kind of tilt their head up. And I always kind of just spread my fingers out so the person has access to the neck. Um, that way they can kind of feel for the vein and know where they're going. Um, the incorrect way to restrain for this procedure would be just to kind of hold him by his muzzle where your fingers can be bit. He can back up into me and use his paws. He can even get away from me. Um, and as you can see, he's not going to be in an optimal position to, to stick a needle anywhere and he's going to bat me with his front paws.